an innocent man who served 17 years in prison has received an unreserved apology from the Criminal Cases Review Commission, CCRC, after being falsely convicted of raping a lady in Salford in 2003. Andrew Morkinson was cleared in July 2023 thanks to DNA evidence. Helen Pitcher, the chairwoman of the CCRC, expressed her deep apologies for failing Mr. Morkinson. He responded by criticizing her for being too little, too late in her apologies, waiting until the end of an independent assessment. In July 2023, Mr. Morkinson received a formal acquittal. However, it was then revealed that four years after his incarceration, DNA linking another suspect was found. He had requested in writing that his case be forwarded to the Court of Appeal in 2009 from the CCRC, an organization established to examine criminal convictions and look for possible injustices. It declined to do so in 2012 and then again in 2020 when it rejected a second application for forensic testing. After all this time, I find it difficult to see sincerity in an apology, stated Mr. Malkinson. When you are truly sorry for what you have done, you respond immediately and instinctively, it wells up in you. There may have been a belief that I have been unwilling to ever apologize to Mr. Morkinson, Ms. Pitcher had stated in her apology, and she wished to clarify that this is not the case. A sincere apology, in my opinion, required a thorough comprehension of the circumstances surrounding the Commission's failure to assist Mr. Morkinson, the Speaker stated. That is now available to us. In July 2003, a guy followed the 33-year-old mother of two who had been raped while walking in Salford's Little Halton neighborhood, strangling her until she passed out. Reports from the Times stated that Mr. Malkinson, a security guard employed in the neighborhood, was yelling out and protesting his innocence from the dock as he was sentenced to life in prison for the attack the following year. He was granted parole in 2020 and his case was not brought before the Court of Appeal until January 2023, when the CCRC announced that a new suspect had been found through additional DNA testing. A grave miscarriage of justice was the subject of an apology by Greater Manchester Police. Attorney Chris Henley KC was chosen in August 2023 to conduct an impartial investigation into the CCRC's involvement in Mr. Malkinson's case. After reviewing Mr. Henley's report, Ms. Pitcher stated it had made sobering reading, and that she had written to Mr. Malkinson to express her unreserved apology on behalf of the Commission and give her sincere regret. Nobody can ever begin to imagine the devastating impact that Mr. Malkinson's wrongful conviction has had on his life, and I can only apologize for the additional harm caused to him by our handling of his case, she said. But Ms. Pitcher was charged by Mr. Malkinson with just apologizing because the CCRC has been found out. He said that in response to earlier requests for an apology, Ms. Pitcher wrote a letter to his attorney in September. He mentioned that she didn't agree with numerous critiques of the CCRC's approach to the case. That smacks to me of someone who is in denial and not fit to lead a body which is meant to be dedicated to rooting out failings in our justice system, he stated. Mr. Morkinson demanded that Alex Chalk, the Justice Secretary, bring in new leadership at the CCRC. Others must not be let down as I was, he continued. The CCRC should be led by people with empathy, humility, and a track record of fighting injustice.